<laughs> Folks, I don't have a new knife for you. I do not have a new knife for you. You might recognize this. Uh, I did a video on this. This is The Beast by PMP Knives. Uh, I'll see if I put the link on YouTube in the end because I'm also going to post this on Instagram because I like double dipping. But uh, I am so bored with my knives now. I am so, so bored. Anyone else getting bored with the knives? And I don't want to buy any more knives. I got like 10 million knives. I got like five Pelican cases of knives. I am done. I don't want to buy any more knives. I lie, of course. And uh, I say that all the time. And I tell that my friends. And then something new comes around. Actually, I think tomorrow my Lambert Rain, the collaboration between <clears throat> Kirby Lambert and Riot Knives is being delivered tomorrow. So... That's probably good by next, be my next video. But um, I've had this monster of a knife, this beast by PMP Knives. And this is totally... I'm sorry, Patrick. Uh, the owner of PMP Knives is Patrick uh, Hollenstein. Uh, he's not Chinese. Uh, I believe Greg Medford assumed he was Chinese from what Patrick told me. Um, it is Max Ace produced in China. So it is a Chinese produced knife. But uh, totally impractical, totally impractical. This is a dinosaur. This is popular from the day of overbuilt knives, which is, I believe is gone. It is coming back. I don't know. Not practical. There's no way. This is a brick. I love it. It's cool looking. It's like a poor man's um, Medford knife, right? It's 14 ounces, and you'll see that in the previous vid. It's D2 steel. It's tremendously thick D2 steel, uh, including the steel. Even Greg Medford, Medford's moving away from the thickness of his steel, from his titanium. But no, this one, this beast is a monster. A monster. It's just a monster. Um, Yeah, I've never carried this thing. Never carried this thing. But I'm kind of getting bored with it. And I kind of want to make it like a project knife. I don't know if I want to send it to a... Um, somebody to pimp it like i did with my other knife here from jeff vandermule this one was um what's the other word not pimp modified <laughs> by sean campbell from recalcitrant american he does such an amazing job this this is the ugly groot finish i'll put the link for this one too but i was thinking about like i mean i, I get bored with knives and i just look at knives like i need to do something like this Definitely has Medford influence. Even Patrick says that Medford was like his inspiration. But this to me, this to me is like a almost, almost like a blank, blank canvas. Now, if you guys have been to the shows or you follow them on Instagram, there's an awesome knife company that makes overbuilt knives. Very similar to this. Very Medford-like. I don't know if they were influenced by Greg Medford. They make amazing folders like this. Swords like this. But they're overbuilt. And they got so, ma so much intricate milling. It's amazing. It's Miller Brothers Blades. And every time, without fail, every show I see a Miller Brother Blades, I want to buy one. I want to buy one. And it's overbuilt. It's a throwback. It's old school. But it's super pimped out with all kinds of like double thumb studs. They got double thumb studs. Their folders, this is 14 ounces. Miller Brothers Blades, I, I, I don't know. It's got to be like 20 ounces. Double thumb studs. Uh, fuller. Holes in the fuller. Um, milling similar to this, but they also have holes in it. Let me show you my other knife. So here's another knife that I, this is um, uh, my Swift right from JRP knife and tool but the Miller brothers would have like vents like this it would have holes like this right I'm just trying to get you to picture it on the handle scales I mean it just looks amazing they do some crazy anno they put like some four um uh hormones on their blades they got this crazy stone wash not too far from looking like this it just looks sick not practical Nothing you would carry. Absolutely not. Right? Absolutely not. But it's cool as fuck. You just want to show everybody. It's definitely everybody that walks by the Miller Brothers Blades uh, table. They have to stop and look at these amazing. They are works of art. Functioning works of art. 
not practical. I mean, unless you're Shaquille O'Neal, this would be like a nothing knife for you, right? This would be like a spider coat for you. But for the average man, woman, their knives are just too overbuilt. Anyways, so I've been hemming and hawing. I was thinking, could I send this to someone to modify, send them pictures of the Miller blades? Now, I don't know if that's going to be an issue. I don't know if that's uh, stealing designs. I don't know. And I don't know if uh, pimpers will do that. Modifiers will do that. You know, they might, you know, they might have ethics and morals. It's like, no, I don't want to steal Miller Brothers blade design. But I want the poor man version. Because the Miller Brothers, uh, I believe their the model of their knife is the T1. T1, I think. Um, T1 folder. I think they just sold them for like over two grand. You know how much this one was? This is like 200 bucks. I think this is still 200 bucks. Somewhere. You look for it. The piece is like 200 bucks. So if I could spend, and I know you think I'm nuts, if I spend like 200 bucks for somebody to pimp it and make it look very Miller Brothers blade-like, I think I'd be very happy. Just like this knife, just like this one that uh, Sean did for me. I was so bored with this Vandermeulen. I was so bored with it because it just had plain tie and stuff. And he did this Groot finish. I mean, the attention to detail that Sean does is just sick. Now, I'm sure Sean could do it. I don't know if he would, right? I don't know if he's friends with Miller Brothers Blades. I hope that's okay. I just want it to look cool. I am bored with my knife. Bored? Bored? Bored. So I don't know if you guys have any suggestions. Anybody can do that. Somebody good. Somebody that's not going to break my bank. I don't want to really put too much money. And I know you guys are thinking that. You're going to throw much more money into that thing. Yeah, I'm bored. Yeah. Yeah. Or I do have a good friend in uh, NCC Knives, Nick Chuprin. He's modified... Tuned up a couple of knives. You know, he did the re stone wash on this. Uh, uh, what else did he do? He stone washed it. Uh, he fixed the clip. I got this in the secondary. So I could go to Nick with the guidance of a knife maker. He has all the tools. Maybe I can do something. I don't know if this is CNC. This must be CNC. I'm pretty sure this is not hand milled out. Maybe. I don't know. But maybe I can do it myself. Or maybe Nick can help me. Pop some holes on this bad boy. Do some anno work. Put some holes on the blade. I don't know if that's going to be a problem with heat treat. If it's going to fuck up the heat treat. I don't know. I'm just like dreaming right now. I'm bored. I want... <laughs> this is pretty badass already. I mean, it's already got like this milling. Very similar to Medford. It's got this cool lock bar relief that's already rounded. Uh, the Miller... I hate... Patrick, if you're watching, I hate this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Horrible. Horrible. That. Get rid of that. I don't know. Your, your little logo. Your, this is awesome. This, this logo is awesome. That. That's enough. Billboarding is the worst thing that knife producers, knife designers can do. And some people still do it. There's a few out there. Anyways. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to make this a project knife. Nick will probably laugh at me. So I'm, he'll probably be like, I don't want to waste my time on that thing. I don't want to do something. I'm a little bored. I want to fix it too a little bit. See, uh, if you've seen the original video, you can see that either the grind is off. I think the grind's a little off. But maybe we could do something with this backspace. It's titanium. Maybe Nick could do something so it won't focus, you know, round it off. Uh, I think Patrick was supposed to send me a backspacer that was rounded off. Never happened. Thanks a lot, Patrick. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. You know? I don't know. I want to do something with this thing. Do something. It's a lot of... It's like a blank canvas. There's a lot of titanium. You think I'm crazy? Should I bother? No. It's your not, not even waste my time with this? I kind of want to do it. I'm bored. Look at all this. This needs, like, holes and cool venting and make it like something Miller Brothers blades like what do you guys think <laughs> peace